Okay. Power Flow Professional Briggs and Stratton Power Washer. It's a bigger one. It's 190 cc, which is somewhere between five and six and a half horsepower, depending on how it's measured. This one says 8.75 gross foot pounds torque, and it's usually about 80 percent that for horsepower. The owner says it starts and it stalls. I'm not gonna. It's a power washer, but I've got a couple seconds just to see what it does, and we'll see if we can get it to do what he says. I think it's an automatic choke one, fellas, guys and gals, excuse me, and uh, let's just see what it does. Might not even do that. Okay, now well, we got to cheat. The problem with pressure washers is that just people just use them till they quit, and that's really common. I've done it myself. Okay, let's see if she. Yeah, the choke's closed. So, oh, is that oil? Oh, that's that's two two stroke fuel. Okay, so I've got my oil in this one and my my two stroke primer in this one. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt it. Okay, so it's probably looking at a fire and then stop. I do have it turned on, right? Off. Well, that makes a difference. How many of you guys have done that? Try it again. Doesn't even. Do that. Okay, let's get it up on the lift and we'll have a look. Sometimes I use a little ramp and sometimes I just use me. Today I'm just going to use me. I'm feeling strong. So I think it's got a plugged carburetor because of old fuel. Let's close these doors just for Okay, let's just have a look at this carburetor. Now, I've got an idea. Just to get you guys closer into the action. Might not be the steadiest, but that might help. Okay. So it's typical Briggs. What I want to do is just take that bottom piece off the carburetor to see if we have a clog. I wonder if they're still half inch. What do you guys think? I bet you they are. This one has a flat piece down here. Yeah. Yeah, it might be 13. No, that's bigger. 12. We'll just see. In my world, this is a newish unit. No, it's not. So, a half inch it is. So, before we go crazy and pull off carburetors and break intake manifold seals, we're going to. See if we can get this carburetor off, and I'm going to pinch off that gas line before it starts to leak. I'll show you that. 
we're going to pinch off that gas line right I can do it it's hard to do stuff with one hand although it can be done Whoop. there no soon those aren't gonna leak so that's good let me close that other door too all right now we can get that carburetor off of there should I wear gloves yes Now I've tried doing, you know, getting ready for shoot, uh, making a video or shooting a video, get everything laid out, but that tends to, that tends to wreck the spontaneity of it all. Now this is a newer style. But I bet you this old bolt still has the, the two, the hole in the top and the hole in the side. So we're going to have a look at that right now. Bowl fell off. It doesn't, gosh, it looks pretty good, huh? And then we're going to just run a little bit of gas through there. What are we going to use? Can we use... Something this new. We got to use my little uh, square game. Maybe not even this. Nope. Let's just run some through. Good. Good. That's got it stopped. Excellent. So now, come with me. Lower you down. I'm going to start using the camera on the chair like that. Works pretty good. Okay. So carb clean, I'll be right back. Alright, here we are with the uh, million dollar bolt as the uh, small engine mechanics call these. These right here. Because on Briggs and Stratton, that's one of the major causes. I'm just fiddling around with my little tiny drill bits, guys. Because they are probably the next thing that's going to be the, act the action in this uh, operation. Good. Okay, it's got a little tiny piece of wire and we're going to stick it down through here first. And then down into here. And I don't, I don't really see a path, so I'm going to squirt that. There's nothing. Now there is. Good. I'm going to just try and uh, go up to the size that that bolt is, the jet in the top. Go through the side, and okay, it does not want to go there. You guys are seeing this, aren't you? Go down one. Okay, that one, that one will work. That's a drill bit, eh? Sometimes you don't need the actual uh, drill bit uh, 
hand driven drill bit you can just use a pair of pliers or anything on these eh? I've lost a couple of these now but that's not bad uh, I think these the sets at least a year old okay I don't know. I don't know if I'm pushing it here or not. Okay, that's in there. I just went up one size. Sort that out. Get the brass, the tiny pieces of brass out of there. Look at that. And that's with an empty can. <laughs> the gloves are starting to deteriorate. I want to show you that. Oh, it's working better only on the one side, eh? Let's just try that again. New can, brand new. Look at that. Okay. Okay, I'm happy. I want to just turn it around and do it from the other side. Doesn't seem to be as active from this side. Hmm. It's got to be. It's got to be the same. I'm just playing. It's good. Okay, let's get it back on the engine. Rinse my hands. The bowl looks great. I wonder what got in there. I'm actually tempted to just dump all that gas out of there before we uh, start it up again. So can you guys see in there? There's the carburetor right there. Yep, you can, sorta. I'm 
Okay. So there it is. Right there, I'm turning that bolt in. I've got this on its side. Sometimes you just gotta do the extreme. Now, before I start this up and let the gas go, I'm going to dump all the fuel out of this guy and see what it looks like. You too can join me. Well, it is older. I'm almost... I wonder if there's any left in it. My new light. Yeah, there's a little in there. I'm going to suck it out. There's a few pieces of crud in there, but not bad. And there we go. Some fresh gas in that bad boy. Okay, step one, I bet you it starts. Now, we've got this pokey pokey air filter here. I'm just going to rinse it out in, uh, in some gas and we'll let it dry in the sun. So I'll be back in a bit. I'm going to check the oil in it. Okay, now I just want to see if it starts. about it running for a long time because I've got no plumbing connected to it. So. Okay, now I'll take it outside and see if it squirts. Fun! The million dollar jet. I'm still recording. Well, we might as well change the oil. <laughs> I gotta remember to turn off that camera when I'm not doing anything, eh?
Okay. Right. <laughs> it's a long drop. I gotta go to the house now. Okay. Water's connected. Oil's been changed. It's got a new air filter. Might still be damp uh, of gas. And uh, we found the million dollar bolt that was clogged, right? So this is an automatic choke. This time we'll make sure it's on. <laughs> we just have to let go of the gas now. The water. <laughs> Don't do this to me.